Welcome everybody, we're back for the fifth race of the season here at Phoenix International Speedway Right after an exciting race at Las Vegas where we saw Romain Fisher get his first career win in the one car And now we have Phoenix for the CampingWorld.com 500 It's a 47 lap race here And then next week we'll be at Auto Club Patrick Gill comes into the, um, point, into the race as the points leader He's got a nice points lead over Vaughn Alonzo. It is exactly seven points. And then Andrew Jordan is back 14. And then Ferdinand Gabot is 33. And Stephen Rooks is 34. Ferdinand still has two career wins, still the most. On um, pole, though, will be the 23 car of Marshall Rich and then Anthony Corby. Cameron Blake, Daytona 500 pole sitter. And the 22 car of Colin Grant, Anthony Newton, and Patrick Gill. Or, yeah, right here. Cody Hagen and Ferdinand Gabba. And then Cameron Grungton, Carson Scott, and then Stephen Rokes. And that's your top 11. Look through the rest of the field. Here's Jermaine Fisher. Arvon Alonzo. And Bailey Scott. And Sam Fraser will start on the back. Let's get the command to start engines. Drivers, start your engines. There, the engines are fired here at Phoenix. And just so y'all know, this is the best Phoenix I could find. So yeah. Car's pulling off. We'll be right back for the start of the race. Uh, okay, here come the cars. Marshall Rich comes into the race ninth in points, 47 patch. And Anthony Corby comes in 37th. Still very early on in the season. Our chase isn't starting until uh, after Richmond, and that's race 26, and this is just race 5. But anyway, Marshall Rich is going to lead us to the green flag here at Phoenix. We're green! And Marshall Rich leads lap one. Cameron Blake on the inside, though. He's trying to get it. I know we normally have an early crash. And they wreck the leaders. Cameron Blake and Marshall Rich. Ferdinand Gabot. Right in the middle of the pack. Caution's out. Remain Fisher's around, too. It's going to hand the lead to Anthony Newton. But he got damaged with the scruff up. The leaders take each other out here early at Phoenix. We'll be back and see exactly what happened and who's all in it. Just a few. We'll be right back. Marshall Rich and Cameron Blake were racing for the lead. Slow down really fat, big here. They're going to be racing. Cameron Blake comes up right into Marshall Rich. But Cameron Blake's car just shoots right up the track. They're going to get into the wall. Come back down. Anthony Corby's going to get a piece of Cameron Blake and he's going to slide down. But he does all right to save it. But then right here, Ferdinand Gabot, Marshall Rich right down into Ferdinand. This sends Ferdinand around. Andrew Jordan gets into it. And then all behind them, everyone's just going to get stopped and stuff. And they're going to spin around. Patrick Gill, your points leader, remain Fisher. Or Vaughn Alonso flips up and over. Your Daytona 500 champion. There's a seven car of... Sam Fraser, and I know 41, Jesse Turner, 3 of Igor Silva. Dejon Weeks, there was actually a wreck back here of just Dejon. He wrecks by himself. He's going to get attacked by Mike Collin into the turn and spin him around. So he wrecks back here before all this happens. And then up here, all these cars. Graham Stecker with a hard hit, and then he's going to hit Bobby Fraser on the outside. Bobby was trying to come around. Malik Nivens. Oh, and then it looks like... Pause it. The nine car, Ferdinand's going to get up on two wheels at one point. 
There's a Vaughn Alonzo flipping back there and then Philip Goldberg looks like he just drives in. Here's the main people who got in it. I know Sam Fraser up here. Cameron Blake. He's the far yeah, so Cameron Blake got in it. These are all the main hitters. Some other drivers did get it. Marshall Rich. Graham Stecker. Bobby Fraser got some of it. Mike Collin got some of it. Patrick Gill, Malik Nivens, Raymond Ray, Fisher, or Raymond Fisher, Philip Goldberg, the nine car of Ferdinand, Bailey Scott, Sam Fraser, Arvon Alonzo, Keegan Alsup, Jesse Turner, Igor Sova, and Dejon Weeks. That's the main. We're going to go on board with Sam Fraser, who runs into the back of Arvon Alonzo. And he's going pretty fast when he runs in the back of him. He's going 145 before he starts to slow down. Let's just watch. He's checking up, checking up, and then he gets into the back of Arvon. What's Arvon see during this? from the back so the biggest news though our top three coming in our top four and points coming in to the race um, is wrecked on the first lap and Anthony Newton's our leader we'll be back live okay we're back Anthony Newton is the leader Cody Hagen second and pit stops are gonna be a factor and I believe Cody Hagen is signaling he's coming down Carson Scott Ryan Saroff also looks like he might come down. Hank Akbar. Yes, the 31 car is going to come down. I don't know how to get a good view of this. So he comes down. Carson Scott behind him. Hank Akbar. Ryan Saroff. And then everyone else in the back, pretty much. A lot of the drivers who got in the dust up. Here's everyone coming off pit road. Patrick Gill's bit able to continue. Alright. We're gonna go back live. We'll be back. Back live, Cody Hagen was first off pit road. He'll restart 17th. Look through the rest. Really quick. Anthony Newton is your leader. Out of the race. Um, the first car retired is the 7 of Sam Fraser, then it's Irvon Alonzo, then it's Igor Silva, and then it is Cameron Blake. They are out of the race. Marshall Rich is in 36, one lap down. Everyone else is able to continue. Some big names in the back now with heavy damage. Patrick Gill, who's yet to get a win, but he's still your points leader. He's had excellent runs. Anthony Newton's your leader. Then we have Colin Grant, Noah Kramer, Cameron Garlington, Anthony Corby, Stephen Rooks, Jeff Fraser, Andrew Jordan, the 47 car of Henry Powers, and the 13 car of Caleb Brennan. Then Robert Fergus, Graham Stecker, Mason Powers, Eric Powers, and Dejon Weeks. Keegan Alsop all stay out. That's your top 16. Andrew Jordan's having a good year. He's up to third in points right now. He's only 14 back. And he hasn't won yet. Him and Patrick both. Both of them have had really good strong runs. And both of them still looking for their first uh, victory of the season and of the career. Anthony Newton, he comes into the race. Thirty-first in points, eighty-one points back, tied actually with Eric Powers. He drives the forty-two. We're going to restart on lap seven or forty-seven, so about forty-one laps to go when we restart. And Anthony Newton's going to lead us back to the green flag here at Phoenix. So big wreck on lap two of forty-seven, taking out four drivers, taking out the Daytona Five Hundred champion. And here we go, Anthony Newton. 
leads us back to the green flag. This is my favorite camera angle, if y'all didn't know, because you can see everything. And Henry Powers is going to get turned by the two car. Caution's back out. With respect to the line, Colin Grant's going to try to get the lead under Anthony. And Anthony's going to hold on to the lead, but Caution is out once again. I saw Henry Powers get turned by Andrew Jordan. Looks like Bailey Scott's going to get in it. Hank Akbar, Patrick Gill again. We'll be back live. Henry Powers dive bombs Andrew Jordan running for 8th. Challenges Andrew Jordan for 8th. And I think his car just can't hold it on down there. He slides up into Andrew Jordan. They make contact and that sends Henry Powers straight into the wall. Henry then's going to spin around. Car's trying to avoid. And they do a pretty good job. But then right here, Patrick Gill and Bailey Scott know where to go. Just run right into Henry Powers. And then it looks like Hank Akbar and Andrew Jordan made more contact up here. Oh, Malik Nivens is going to get into them too and spin them out. Patrick Gill, I'm pretty sure he's done for the day. That was a hard hit. Henry Powers is injured. Bailey Scott's got a lot of damage. Let's go on board with Bailey Scott who runs into the back of Henry Powers. Wow, comes out the smoke and just nowhere to go for him. We'll be back live. We are back live. Anthony Newton stays the race leader. And I believe he's going to pit this time. It looks like Anthony Newton's going to come down pit road. Cameron Garlington, Anthony Corby, Stephen Rooks, Jeff Fraser. A lot of drivers who did not pit last time are going to come down. Keegan Alsop still stays out since the first caution though. Very interesting of him. Let's go pit road view. There's everyone coming in. So Eric Powers, last car to come. Malik Nyman's also. Bailey Scott, of course. And then here's the race off. Oh yeah, here's the race off now. Anthony Corby pits way up here. Anthony Newton, first one off. We'll see where he restarts. Cameron Garlington, Stephen Rooks, Jeff Fraser. And Anthony Corby's actually going to get third. 13 car of Caleb Brennan. And then Graham Stecker, Mason Powers, Robert Fergus, Eric Powers. A lot of drivers injured. We're going to go live. We'll be right back. Henry Powers, Patrick Gill, and Bailey Scott all have retired. That leaves only 33 cars. Colin Grant took over the race lead. Or he's about to. Keegan Alsop's up to fourth. And this is with a damaged race car. He wrecked on lap two and did not pit yet. No Kramer, Colin Grant have not pit either. And they're up here running. Everyone else has pitted. The first driver off pit road was Anthony Newton. We'll see where he restarts when they cross the line right here. He can't be too far back. Okay, it reset it. He's going to actually restart 21st. Your top five is Colin, Noah, Marshall Richards, a lap down. So Keegan House up, Carson Scott, and then the, tw the 20 car of Robert Goldberg, then Ryan Saraf, Cody Brennan, Cody Hagen. Alex Hawkins and Bobby Frazier's top 10. We'll come back when we get the one to go signal. Okay, we're back. As you can see, the 23 of Marshall Rich is going to now take third or the inside line. One lap down still. Top two stayed out, or I mean your top 20 stayed out, but your top two have not pitted yet. Top three have not pitted yet. Carson Scott has the freshest tires. He's going to restart fourth. Colin Grant comes into this race. 23rd, 72 points back. Actually tied for 22nd with Jesse Turner. Noah Kramer comes in. 18th, 63 points back. Keegan Alsup comes in. 29th, 
78 points back, and Carson Scott, one point at one spot ahead of him, 76 points back. So a lot of drivers out at the front, with uh, not doing good in points, but we're going to restart on lap 12 of 47. Here we go, Colin Grant restarts the race. Will we see another caution? Quick. Carson Scott goes under his teammate, and now under one of his best friends, Noah, for second. And we get a lap of racing in, but will we get two? Caution's out once again. Who's going to lead us back to the line? Will Colin Grant hold on to the race lead? The outside has the runs here. On to turn four. Carson Scott looks like he might have it. He's going to be the race leader under caution. Oh, the Shrek was on the front stretch this time. Oh, and there it looks like we might have had another one. We'll be right back. Carson Scott's the race leader. Cameron Garlington is running 22nd with Steven Rook. Steven's going to make him, or he's going to bounce off of Philip Goldberg. And then Steven comes out the track and he's going to spin Cameron Garlington around. And so they both get in the wall and they're going to spin a little bit. And so here's what happens on the front straight, which brought out the caution. And now under caution, something happens up here with the 21 car of Dajon Weeks. Hank Ackbar gets into Philip Goldberg and spin Dajon. Dajon's going to flip up and over. Hank Ackbar goes around. So does Philip Goldberg. And then I know Hank Dajon Weeks stays on his roof for a long time. Jeff Frazier gets into him kind of, it looks like. And then... I know Steven Rooks gets into it somewhere. He here he comes. Oh, John Weeks is in the middle of the track. He Steven gets right in the back of him. I can't speak. Sorry. And then Cameron Garlington slides past Steven. So Steven two wrecks in one lap. He didn't have too much damage after the first one. But then it looks like right here he he thinks he might be clear. He tries to slow up as much as he can, but couldn't. And just got right in the back. Dijon Week with a scary rack. He was up and over for a long time. He's running 19th. Mason Powers looks like he actually gives a sh bump to Hank Akbar, who will get in him. Horrific crash here at Phoenix. Second time today on lap 13 of 47. We'll be back live. Back live. Carson Scott did take the race lead. Colin Grant, Noah Kramer. Second and third. And we'll see who pits this time by. It looks like maybe Carson Scott's going to pit for a second time after he took the race lead. Yes, he pits. Carson Scott. Alright, we'll see who stays out. 20 car of Robert Goldberg. The 55, the 1, the 41, the 24, the 23, the 4, the 15, the 9, the 14. A lot of people stay out. I thought we would see more, to be honest. A lot of people stay out. This is actually interesting. Carson Scott gave up the race lead. Colin Grant will beat Carson off pit road. Then it's Noah Keegan, Cody Brennan, Lance Roth, Cody Hagen, Alex Hawkins, Bobby Fraser, Mike Collin. Now we can go. So, wow, a lot of people stayed out. That handed the lead over to Robert Goldberg. Um, Steven Rooks, Day John Weeks have retired, leaves 31 drivers on the lead lap. Or on the racetrack, 30 drivers on the lead lap. Here's Brian Goldberg, who hasn't even been running up front all day. He got in the early wreck. Same with Raymond Fisher. Ramay, R Raymond Fisher. Jesse Turner got in it. And 24 car of Brian Walter. He didn't get too much damage, but he's just been running in the back. Pro probably an ill handling race car. Then back here, it was Colin Grant first off pit road. He's going to restart in the. 
gonna restart back here. It's gonna be okay up a little more. He's gonna restart 20th. So 19 cars stay out on lap 16 of 47. Reggie, your top 10 pretty much. Then it's Anthony Corby, Anthony Newton. Fernand's still in here. He's up and back in the top 10. Mason Powers and Andre um, Weeks. His son, Dejon Weeks, just got um, out of the wreck after a scary crash, but he's still up here running. We'll come back when we get the one to go signal. All right, we're back. Robert Goldberg still up front. Marshall Rich back on the inside trying to get his lap back still. Now, a lot of these drivers have a lot of damage up here it's gonna be interesting to see where Colin can get to before we see another caution because no doubt we will not have a long green flag run we're not even halfway yet halfway is 23 laps and we're on lap 17 restart 18 so this is gonna be a very long video I'm sorry for that too if you're watching it right now um just just um put a smiley face at the end of your comment all right Robert Goldberg leads the restart. We're really starting on lap 18 of 47. And we'll go wide so we can see if there's a wreck early. We're down to just 30 cars, so I don't see we'll see I don't think that we'll see too many wrecks. Or as many as we've been seeing. And it looks like that lap by the highest running car is Carson, who just pitted in 17th. He's trying to make it back to the front. 20 cars pulling away a little bit. That's Robert Goldberg. And then last week's winner, Remain Fisher, he's actually back to third now. Here comes the 24 car of Brian Goldberg. And this marks the longest green flag run of the day. Here's Carson. He's marching his way up. He's the one who... He's the farthest up of the people who just pitted. He's now going to be... 14th. And then Cody Brennan right here is his closest comp competitor, I believe. But then for the race lead, Anthony Corby now to second under Brian Walter. Halfway through the next lap, we'll be halfway through this race as we're going through the longest green flag run here of just five laps. Here's Caleb Brennan, I believe. Caleb, yes, he drives the 13. Caution's out. Did not see that. Oh, uh, Keegan Alsop was involved. Alright, so, Robert Goldberg is your leader, and we're halfway now, so... That's good. Alright, Robert Goldberg's your leader. We'll be right back. We'll see why we're in a caution. King Alsop, he was running 20th at the time. He's just going to slide up the track, get into Alex Hawkins. And then he's going to get in the wall at a really weird angle, which is going to allow his car to get up on two wheels. He comes down, gets into the side of Cody Hagen on his roof, and he just slides. It's a pretty much a single car wreck. Three cars were involved with minor damage. The most damage coming to Keegan Alsop. Uh, did not notice it, but Steven Rooks had retired. So that only left 29 cars on the lead lap, and now Keegan Alsop more than likely will retire. Let's watch it one more time at full speed. Alright, we'll be back live. Back live, and it looks like Robert's finally gonna pit. He's going to come down. I think he actually pitted before. Not 100% sure. 
Robert pitches out, hands the lead over to Anthony Newt or Corby, who's going to stay out. Okay, so Corby stays out. 15, 41, 42, 25, 78, 26, 43, 31, 22. So I believe we're going to have a lot of people on pit road this time compared to normal. And Robert Goldberg easily wins it off. And then it's going to be Brian Walter, Romain Fisher. And Caleb's going to get tapped by Ferdinand coming out of his pit box. And he's going to spin him. Not collect too much damage, but he's going to spin. Alright, we'll be back live. Or in a lap. We're back. Keegan Alsop has retired. Leaves 29 cars on the lead lap. Andre Weeks is the last car on the lead lap. Okay, first car off pit road was 20 car and that and he'll restart 15th. It's Robert Goldberg. The leads go over to Anthony's. It's Anthony Corby, Anthony Newton, Jesse Turner, Eric Powers, Carson Scott, your top five. Cody Brennan, Ryan Saroff, Noah Kramer, Cody Hagan, Colin Grant, back in the top ten. That's your top ten. Marshall Rich on the inside, still trying to get his lap back, but mm, still not happening. We've had a lot of wrecks here today, not a lot of green flag run, f green flag running. Pit stops looks like it's the main problem here. A lot of people pit every like other uh, caution, so sooner or later, though, I don't think we'll have wrecks every lap. But Anthony Corby's going to get us back under green here on lap 27 of 47, 21 to go. Colin Grant on the wall. Go oh, camera gong to and Andre Weeks, Graham Stecker with a hard hit, and Remain Fisher. Layman Fisher. Anthony Corby still your leader. Newton still second. Jesse Turner, Eric Powers, Carson Scott still your top ten. Noah Kramer gained a few positions. And Robert Goldberg made his way up to eleventh. We'll be right back. So it starts with Colin Grant getting into the 31 of Cody Hagen. He gets in the wall some. It's going to stop a lot of drivers right here. And then just the build up. 55 car sends R Raymond Fisher into Graham Stacker. Who, they're just trying to avoid it. Almost flips as Raymond. And then down comes Graham. Who Cameron Garlington and Andre Weeks just collide in. Everyone else makes it through fine. Didn't actually check. But I'm pretty sure. Five car wreck here, and all and the all four of them look done. Maybe Andre Weeks, he's driving off. In the cockpit with Cameron Garlington. Let's go with Graham Stecker. Follow right, but the cockpit. That was mid wreck, that was horrible. So, four car wreck here. We'll be back live. Anthony Corby's your leader. We're back live. None of them have retired yet, but they're all on pit road except Andre, who is making his way around the track. Looks like we won't see people pit this time. Interesting. It's kind of interesting, to be honest. The first taker will be... Hmm. Looks like Andre Weeks, who was involved in the crash. So, Roaring Order is going to stay the same, for the most part. Um, can now report the one car of Raymond Fisher has retired. Never mind, I cannot report nothing. Andre Weeks comes into his pit stop. He's retired. Okay. Raymond. Raymond's retired. Graham Stecker. Cameron Garlington. Andre Weeks. 
and uh, all four of them have retired. That leaves just 25 cars on the lead lap. We're getting down to just barely anyone. Anthony is still leading it though. Corby and Newton. Then it's Jesse, and then it's Eric, and then it's Carson, then it's Ryan Seroff, Noah Kramer, Cody Brennan, Mike Collin, and then we have the exciting 20 car of Robert Goldberg, who pitted, restarted 15th, he gained 4 positions in just 2 laps, he's trying to get it back to the front, I don't believe lights will go off here, if they do though, hopefully... No, so we'll be back when the lights go off. We're back. Newton, uh, Corby's still leading. Trying to get his first career win. Pretty much everyone everyone who's won this season's out so far except um, the nine car, Ferdinand. But he's just having a really bad day. He's running 18th. You can say that's not really that bad of a day, but that's... Oh, he got two wins in a row earlier this season at Rockingham in Atlanta. Then last week he wrecked out, but he's back this week. We're going to restart on lap 32 of 47. Few laps, few more than 10 laps to go. 16 laps to go. Newton has closed up on Corby. Carson Scott tries to get third. Yes. I uh, Caution's out once again. This time Marshall Rich was involved. And Caution's out. Looks like Marshall Rich, Brian Walter, or Brian Goldberg. And we'll be back live once again. Where'd Carson Scott go? We'll investigate that. We'll be back live. Everyone, everyone's trying to pass Marshall Rich. Mike Collin gets into him finally after they go four wide. It's going to send Marshall Rich into the wall. Comes back, gets into Alex Hawkins, and then the 55 of Brian Goldberg's going to tap him in the back bumper and just make him go for a spin. He's been just trying to get a lap back the whole race. Hasn't really been a factor. Just kind of slowing everyone down, to be honest. But he's done good though. A lot of people have retired since his initial wreck. And now I want to watch what happens to Carson here as we come out of caution. It's right here. He's going to be third, but then it looks like... Oh, he's going to get into the 42 car of Eric Powers and spin himself out. Philip Goldberg gets into him. He tries to get back going, but he wrecked. He'll, more than likely, he'll have to come down pit road after that. Philip Goldberg got involved. He'll spin out. He will just tap on the side and spin out. Get his back in. Alright, we'll go back live. Quick caution. Alright, here we are. Newton Corby's still your leader. None of the front runners are gonna come down pit road once again. There's Carson. He's on the outside trying to pass everyone and get back to his spot. And now in this series, you do have a rule where you have to stay in your position. So technically, he's going to go back down to 10th because of that um, position. But he's going to, I think he's going to try to stay back in third. Not sure if they'll allow him to stay in third. That is his position, but actually, I believe they're gonna allow him to stay in third, and he won't pit with the that Marshall Rich has retired in 26. That leaves 25 drivers still on the lead lap because he was a lap down. He did good though, because he would have originally finished 30, probably like 36, 35th, but he'll finish 26. So gain 10 more points that's very very much 
lot. Corby's your leader. Newton's second. Carson Scott's back up to third. Then it's Eric Powers, Jesse Turner, Ryan Seroff, Noah Kramer, Cody Brennan, Robert Goldberg. He's made his way back up to, I believe, ninth. Get the official word here as we go by. Yes, he'll be back ninth, and then it's Bobby Frazier, your top ten. Look the rest of the field. No one has pitted during this caution. I don't understand why Brian Goldberg, Malik, Malik, Andrew Jordan, Robert Fergus, Cody Hagen, Hank Akbar, Jeff Fraser, Mike Collin, Kayla Brennan, Philip Goldberg, Ferdinand. All these people not in the top ten. There's 24 drivers left on the lead lap. The last 14 come in. That would you'll have numbers in your favor so you're gonna all go more than likely you'll catch them because we'll have another caution and they'll see that you're catching them so they might play the waiting game but the waiting game might not work because i believe the lights will go off here we're going to restart with 10 laps to go on lap 38 or 47. we have just 25 cars on the lap this will be interesting everyone's got damage i don't think there's a single driver out here without damage Excuse me. 78. The car doesn't look too bad, but I know he's got damage. Corby looks fine. Newton looks fine, but I know they've been involved in just a little bit. Gotta skip that side of their car. No, they actually look decent. Carson Scott with back end damage now. thundering at my home so the Anthony is up front then it's Carson and then it's Eric Powers and Jesse Turner your top five been like this for the last about 10 or so laps I don't think fuel is going to be an issue for anyone so everyone can make it to the end I do believe if we have a caution though with say six seven to go which probably might happen I wouldn't be surprised if they came down and may, some people might try to stay out Anthony Corby he's trying to win it he's gonna restart the campingworld.com 500 on lap 38 of 47 here we go he gets a great jump Everyone's going to just pass by Carson after he spun his tires are hot. And he's got some back end damage. Going through the back of the pack. Hopefully we can end this green. Anthony Corby and Newton have pulled away a little bit. And Jesse Turner has jumped up to third. And here comes Ryan Saroff in the 26th. And... We got a challenge for the race lead. Anthony Newton under Corby. He's not going to get the run out of turn four this time, but he's going to have the inside lane in turn one. He's going to get under. He's going to slide up the track, so he gets into Corby. Here comes Ryan Saroff, though. Newton successfully takes the race lead this time. Caution is out once again. Dang. Newton leads under caution. We'll get back going green though. Mason Powers was involved. Alright, we'll be right back. Mason Powers running 11th with Bobby Fraser. Gonna get into the turn just a little too hot. Come across, come up the track, get into Bobby Fraser, get into the wall, and they're gonna spin. Or just Mason Powers goes for a little quick spin. He, cut, he does come down pit road though. Very quick caution here. Inside 10 to go now. About seven to go, I believe. So, quick caution, we're gonna go back live. Newton just took the race lead. Corby's falling back to second now, and here's Eric Powers, Ryan Saroff, and Cody Brennan is your top five now under this caution. Mason Powers hit pit road. 
Will we see Carson come down? I don't understand why Carson's not pitting. He fell back to eighth. Come down and get some time. No one else is pitting. I just don't understand this. Mason Power is trying to beat the pace car off pit road. We'll get back going for sure. I'm going to um, go fast forward at some for one to go. We'll be right back. Back, they're coming in to turn three of three and four. Mason Power is back on the track. He's not a lap down, though. So, still 25 drivers. We'll restart with three laps to go here at Phoenix. Anthony's have led the last 20 or so laps, I believe. 10, maybe 15 or so. Ryan Sarraf is now up here trying to get a win. Here's Eric Powers, Cody Brennan, Jesse Turner, Noah Kramer. All these drivers hungry. Anthony Newton's going to restart the race as the race leader, though. Three to go here in the CampingWorld.com 500. Will we end under green? Anthony Corby with a run. He's going to try to go on the inside. Not gonna make it sick. The outside has got the run, but he's gonna have the inside for this lap. Two to go here. Come on, guys, don't wreck. Let's just make it to the white flag. Then you can wreck all you want. Anthony Corby with a really bold move to take the lead from Newton. Can he hold it though? He clears him. And he turn three. Newton though on the outside, he slides up the race track just a little bit. White flags out for Anthony Corby. One lap to go here at Phoenix. And he's pulling away just a little bit. Here comes Ryan Sarov to try to take third from Eric Powers. Anthony Corby on the outside. Newton's got to run on the middle. In the middle. Oh, he's going to move Corby out of the way. Three right up the line. It's going to be... Corby wins it. Very close finish. Three wide for the race win, and Corby's going to pull off the victory here at Phoenix. Newton second, Saroff third, Powers fourth, and then Jesse Turner fifth. Or no, Kramer fifth, then Jesse Turner. Great race. Anthony Corby wins it with a photo finish. Here's the official standings. Corby, Newton, Saroff, Powers, Kramer, Turner, Cody Brennan, Robert Goldberg, Colin Grant, and Caleb Brennan is your top 10. Carson Scott will not get a top 10. He'll finish 11th. Then it's Jeff Fraser, Brian Walter, Mike Collin, Alex Hawkins, Robert Fergus, Ferdinand Gabot, um, Hank Akbar, Pat, Philip Goldberg, and then Brian Fraser is your top 20. Cody Hagan, Andrew Jordan, Malik Nivens, Brian Goldberg, and Mason Powers is your top 25. Everyone else who wrecked out. Anthony Corby wins it in a fantastic finish here at Phoenix. Congratulations, Anthony Corby, on your first career win. We're going to go look at points. Let me export that. That was an exciting race. All right. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Patrick Gill still with points lead. Andrew Jordan second. Now Ron Alonzo falls to third. Fernand stays fourth. Jeff Frazier up to fifth. And Noel Kramer up to ninth after he was 18th. And our winner is down here with Raymond Fisher in 28th. So both of these are actually taking up the two wildcard spots now. So right now it would be Patrick Gill, Andrew Jordan, all the way down to Robert Goldberg. And then 11th and 12th would be Anthony Corby and Robert Fisher. All right, next week we come back and we'll be at Auto Club on a very fast two-mile speedway. Thank you guys for watching.